Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the portable dishwasher. So the first step is you're going to wheel it over to the sink. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull out the hose. The hose retracts in the back. You're going to pull out the hose and you're going to attach it to the sink. So what you're going to do, how you're going to attach it is you're going to hold it in one hand. With the other hand, you're going to pull down this plastic flange. Then you're going to put it straight up onto the faucet and you're going to let go of that plastic flange. To make sure that it's tight and it's on there, you can pull on it a little bit and it's not going to come off. The next thing you'll want to do is test for leaks. And so you'll turn it on the hot water since that's what we'll be using for the cycle. And you can turn it on full blast. It's not going to actually go into the dishwasher until the dishwasher is started. So I turn the sink on and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. So I've already taken the plug out of the back. I'm going to plug it in. Then you're ready to start your cycle. So you can choose what you want. It's on light for now. That's normally what I run it at. And then it's going to be 48 minutes. And then what you're going to do is you'll have your dishes and your soap in there already. And then you're going to press the start button and this light will be solid. And then you want to close it right away. If you don't close it pretty quickly, the light starts flashing and then your cycle won't run. So you're going to press start close it and then you should hear the dishwasher start so you can wait until you hear for it to start running so the faucet just turned on so the dishwasher has started to run and what's going to happen is you're going to have water coming out the bottom of the piece there so it's going to drain into the sink and so you have to have the sink clear if you want to open the dishwasher while the dishwasher is running, you can do that and then you can just resume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that the cycle is over. Okay, so once the cycle is over, you'll open the dishwasher. Well, first, really importantly, you want to turn the faucet off. So we're going to turn the faucet off. And then the next thing that's incredibly important is to press the red button that's in the back. So what this red button does is it relieves the pressure and it will um, get rid of any excess water. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so it just released all the pressure. So that means that you're good to take this off. So the, the faucet is totally off. You've released the pressure and now you can hold in one hand, just like we put it on, you're gonna press down on the flange and you're gonna pull it off. Okay, and then the last step is, well, you can unplug it as well. And then what we wanna do is we wanna try to get all the water out of the tube. And as the tubes go above the dishwasher, you're gonna to wanna to take a little bowl and then you can empty the rest of the water into it. So I like to just, Take the bowl, kind of move the dishwasher back, and then I'm just gonna empty any of the excess water and you'll see some is coming out. So we just wanna make sure that we get it all out. Once it's all out, you can just dump it in the sink and then you can put the hose back in place and then you can also put the cord back in place. All right, and that's how you work the portable dishwasher.